Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Smart Monkey. welcome back to my last play of Total War Attila, the Franks on Legendary Difficulty, so last time we left off, we were moving our way, or making our way even, to Britain, um, we were going to take this army right here, and this army right here, and we were making a fifth army, Tulifudum as well, which I'll just continue on making right away, we need three more of them, and then we need some Axe Hirban, so, just wondering if I should go with the... Six axe here, bond and four cav, or six cav and four axe here, bond again. Um, I think I'll I'll go one more army with uh, six cav and four axe here, bond, and then I can like sort of use them where I feel they are like useful. So I have the variety basically. So I have four axe here, bond on this one, and then uh, six and Tristri cavalry guard. Don't know why I'm queuing everything up. Let's just hold off on them for now because. Uh, yeah, let's just do one turn at a time for now, because I've still got a bunch of other things to do as well. Uh, Fazontio still had problems here. Um, I think I was going to keep breaking this down. I was going to make something else here. Right, I also did some math, and apparently um, this place is going to be happy if I upgrade this one more time. Or sorry, the sanitation is going to be fine if I upgrade this one more time. It does mean I can't upgrade this, but if I upgrade it to level 3, which I will do as well. Then I can upgrade that or get something else that has sanitation as well. Actually, yeah, upgrade uh, like just having this now will fix it, but then this is gonna reduce it again. So then when I upgrade this again, it's gonna uh, cancel each other out. So that's gonna be good. I also could just um, convert this over to the boat carver and just take that for money, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know, like otherwise I'm gonna make a religious building here. I think, but we probably have most of the religion here already. Uh, we have 42 influence, 3, 1.5, actually no, that's not even, 3, 3, 3 and 1, yeah, we, we have a lot of it, I don't think I need a religious building, L yeah, let's just convert it over to a bone carver, it gives us some more unhappiness, but we already have so much, it doesn't really matter at this point, <laughs> um, and I also did some math in other places, for example, right here, oh, actually, yeah, I need to upgrade that too, um, it's just doing some off-camera stuff. There's no influence here anymore, uh, zero from any other uh, religions, and I have this guy who has uh, religious influence plus five Germanic paganism, so we don't really need that anymore um, on him. So, and I don't have any like any other ones to give him, so I may as well just get rid of that and give him absolutely nothing. Uh, well. 10% com from commercial buildings. I should give that to this guy if he doesn't have something like that yet. This uh, governor here. Hello, governor. He doesn't. De he definitely doesn't have that, so we should give that to him. Um, and I also need to think about changing a governor. So we're going to have an army in a Burzis for I don't know how long. So I think I'm going to take the governor out of here. Um, okay. Sorry, I was just having a... Um, I'm gonna take the governor out of here, uh, a Brekizel, and then I'm gonna. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do here. Let's go from here. Uh, that's uh, a, a, a Brekizel there. So I'm gonna take him out and I'm gonna put him in here. Can't, can't do that now, I'll do it next turn now. Uh, which means this place is gonna be a little unhappier again, but it's not too bad. Um, because this is two provinces, that's only one. Plus, we're gonna have an army in here at all times anyway, so. I think that's um, that's smart. I'm gonna send this guy down. Let's see if we can scout that army belonging to the Abdanians, and we can. Hmm, they are definitely in one turn range. Actually, they're in force march, but I reckon even if they aren't, they should still reach Fazantio in one turn. I got six units here and two Bastion onagers, and these units are super depleted. So I don't know if I could take that. Probably not. Eh, they only have four, in five infantry. And the hounds. Are the walls completely yet yeah, the, the walls are completely fixed. I, the thing is, I, I'm not going to put that army in there. There's no, there's no way I'm doing that. But I could put it, like, right here. But I don't know if you put an army in the same area, if it can catch the pestilence anyway. I don't know how that works. Otherwise, I could just put them outside. And then put them in uh, fortification or something. And then at least they'll be in reinforcement range. I suppose I can just do that right there. But the thing is, like I said, I don't know if... If that means they can catch the plague. I don't really want to risk that. So I think I'll just leave it. I, I think I'll be able to defend it. If not, then we learn from our mistake. 
Um, right, this guy needs to get some of 40. Let's see, do you get any of 40 from anything? I don't think so. No, you get no of 40 anymore. Actually, this one gives it a 40. And that one gives it cunning. Yeah, let's finish them both off anyway. Finish them off. Right, so this guy is just going to go over towards here. I just need to start replenishing first before I go anywhere. And I'll take like two turns. Yeah, it looks like two turns for all units, so that's good. And this army is coming as well. And I think I'm going to put him into Dorcatorum. 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 Yep. Totally makes sense. Uh, and I want to keep those armies in there. Actually, if I'm going to move in two turns, I'll leave him in there for one turn, and next turn I'll, next turn I'll move him over there. And in three turns, I believe this army will be done too. So that'll be good. Right, so I have a bunch of money left. Let's see if I want to spend it on anything. I can upgrade this, which takes some food, which we have plenty... Well, not plenty of here. We have enough, but I don't know if I want to get more. I don't. Do we care about religious influence here? We have... Let's see. Let's see there. Okay, they've, they've got... Eh, there's a total of uh, nine influences of other stuff. We have 60. Um, I don't think that two is going to really make a difference. The one public order is not a massive deal either. This is alright though for sanitation. There's no negative bonuses for this. It's only plus one sanitation. Though. That's literally it. That's kind of pointless. Um, which still means I can't upgrade that. But I think I'll do it anyway. Unless there's other stuff. There's a few towns I still want to upgrade I believe. Uh, not here. Not there. But here. That one and this one too. You know what? Let's get that one first then. Um, Rujan is happy, but only barely, so hopefully that will get better. This is going to give squalor. Oh, I didn't realize that. Well, I'm going to have to leave that for now then, because I have no squalor fixing buildings yet, until I get four thingamajig here. Actually, I, w oh, I do, don't I? Yeah, no, I, I do. Because I've got uh, this, and I've got the plus two from uh, this. So that, that'll be fine. And that leaves us with no money, and we did queue up the units, right? Just making sure, yeah, okay. Alright, what else happened? We met Egypt. Uh, we made a bunch of buildings. Uh, Bilvin is ready. Bivin. It's just a, that's, just, that's just a lovely name. Oh yeah, that's something I noticed when I was off camera as well. This guy is nearly out of loyalty. So we need to secure some of his loyalty. He actually owns my new army. This guy's only four as well, so I should probably secure his loyalty as well. Uh, Alright, looks like this wife right here. can do that and then right she yeah she's a, a daughter now that we can use or well not use but <laughs> I'm gonna use your daughter uh, oh food is not in anything anymore so let's shove him into the tribal chieftain actually hold on I could put him in these ones why the hell am I putting him in the in that one this gives recruitment cost replenishment Personal influence. Personal influence gets better. This gives an extra minus or plus five integrity and minus six percent uh, upkeep cost for all units. That's insane. So I definitely want to get this. There are that's even. This gives two integrity and one unit experience for all new recruits. Right, that's not bad. It's just kind of point. Like once you get someone who's that high and you can use him, um, or you can you can put him in one of these things, then you're not going to use him to recruit any more armies, are you? It's kind of just, I don't know. It's a bit odd, in my opinion. Um, I'm just wondering who we're going to attack first. If I'm going to take Camelodunum first, or if I'm just going to go uh, to war with the Picts. I do know the Picts have got an army here, and they've got an army right there. So there's two armies that we need to think about right away. Uh, oh yes, and there's this Asian one I nearly forgot about. Okay, definitely need to deal with him. 56% chance to manipulate him. 56% uh, chance to get something good about assassinating or wounding. He's a Danian, so he'll just come back. Let's try and stop him for one turn. Oh, well, that's also good. That's sadly, that's not the one where we take him. But uh, next turn he can reach, so we'll then do the manipulate agent with him. Oppress. Although it looks like yeah, he, he's not in range next turn. Because uh, there's a river there, right? Well... That's too bad. We'll just have to deal with it. 
Anyway, uh, I can't move you any closer there. Rujion, you still have two armies down here, don't you? Unless that's the army they, one of the armies they had, and he's moving it up now. Oh, you can actually do something here. I don't know why I didn't think about doing that. Get some experience. He's on level three. Oh, there's that other army. He failed. This guy is just horrible. This is why he's still a low level, because he's been failing at everything he does. Anyway, um, they're in Forced March, and they can get there, so I don't think they can even, even get into reinforcement range in Forced March, so that's alright. A lot of cavalry in there. God, this entire army is just cavalry. If they get closer and don't attack for Zoncho, I might just go out and attack them with this army, even if I have to fight both of them at the same time, although he does have a lot of cav. That is regular, or, uh, oh, that's no, Skirmisher cav, actually. Holy shit, that's actually a pretty good cavalry right there. It's my main weakness. This is the army that has six cavalry in it, though, so... And I can always pull this one in, too, but then they'll just run, so I have to see what I actually will do. Anyway, um... So we got our rank gained thing already done. Buildings done. Units. We're gonna look at that. We also discovered Egypt, apparently. Oh, I guess this guy's still exploring away. The birds of prey. Look at that. Three Sassanid armies right here. I don't know what else that means. I did notice also that the Sassanids are now number two, I believe. Or number one, actually, even, on the strength uh, ranking. So the good thing is we're probably never going to meet these Sassanids. Unless we continue on after 450. But if I can reach one of the victory conditions, I'll probably just leave it there. Uh, yeah, I can, but I'm not going to. Because I'm going to use that guy who I just fired from his old job in Germania. He's going to get a better one. Abdanians. Oh, shit. Level 4 agent's gonna go for my level 3 scout. He's probably gonna succeed. And he hit me? Did he kill me? Or... No? Did he fail? Oh, they have a lot of armies around here, actually. Okay, there's another one right there. Wonder where he's going. Okay, they have... They, they have, like... Well, I mean, it's all half stacks, so let's say they have two full stacks right here. Um... Not necessarily worried, but more alarmed. And also that stack right there, you can see it maybe on the, on the video as well. Like right above where I've got my mouse cursor is a stack. And that one might be going for Flavum. Or Frisia, or whatever, whatever the town is called. But I think we got a lot of defenses there now, so even if they do come, we should be alright. But I'll have a look in a minute. In a minute! Um, but I may have to leave this army in uh, Duracatorum. No, go attack the Abdanians. These people trouble even the gods. I beg. I'll join you soon. Just hold on a little bit, like I don't know, ten turns or so, if everything goes right, which it doesn't, most likely. Just hold on a little longer. I will join you. I, I won't forget about you, Ferinians. I'll never forget about you. Even though you literally haven't done anything for so long. Hostile, okay, you failed, thank god. Rebellion imminent. Yeah, that's gonna happen too. Unforeseen. Oh, crap. Loyalty secured. How much was that? Plus three for Gistamar. Okay, that's him. The other one's up to five now, so I think that's fine. Leave it at that. Um, right. Where and Bert ranked up. Oh, nice. Is that free happiness here now? Um, extra food. Animal husbandry and agricultural. Yeah, alright. Um, construction cost. I guess we are constructing things here as well. Yeah, we don't really need food here, do we? So, that's fine. Do we need food? I'm gonna be unhappy if I actually. Oh, yeah, I only have five food. Well, that could have been useful. I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, recruited a bunch of units. Let's continue. Oh crap. Minus one. That's not good. Okay, let me make two more of them. So yeah, in two turns this army will be done. Oh and also, yeah, I just realized this uh, still doesn't no this still doesn't work, so I may as well just get rid of that right away. Um Hmm. I guess I'll take this one. Morale when defending is good, because or in my own lands, because that's what what I'll be doing most of the time. 
Right, what else happened? Household. Public order for military presence, plus five. Interesting. That's this guy. Anyway, um... New governor. Although that is be a little bit risky if I do that now. Because if they attack this place... I can't attack, can I? Maybe, but I'd have to go through... Oh wait, that's an agent. Yeah, no, never mind. I'm not going to put the army in Fazancho, but I might put it... Just in reinforcement range of the town at least. I think that, that would probably be good enough. Uh, meh. A whole bunch of buildings. Fankarat. It's been exposed. It's been uh, arrested for indecent ex indecent uh, thingy magic. Right, can I put this army in reinforcement range of both towns? I think so. I don't know if that's... Re yeah, it looks like that's reinforcement of both towns. I don't know if that means I can get Pestilence, though. I definitely can't get it sitting in the town. But I'm just going to have to do this. Especially because there's also going to be a rebellion right now, which I need to deal with. So, in that case, I will put the new governor in. Uh, well, the old guy. Uh, which is... Ebrek Gizel. Alright. And then we'll give this the old... Fucking hell, I just put him in the wrong place. I'm assuming I... Yeah, I have to wait another turn then. Well, okay, that's... That settles that. Um, are you guys still all doing your job? Yeah, they are. And this place is like just... That uh, immigrant. Military crackdown plus six. Doesn't help. Does not help one beat. Okay, what can you do against this fella? 60% chance of positive. I could try and run away. Do you have any movement speed? Uh, no. 60% chance of getting a positive result. Yeah, alright. Oh, this, this guy's known for his failures, but he succeeded there. So that's good. Get any assholes as well from that? No. Okay, right. Uh, oh, stupid fucking... I hate my... Stupid. 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 Right. Okay, there's an agent right there. Oh yeah, right, we already knew about that. That was stupid. It's also winter, so if even if I were going, was going to attack them, I wouldn't do it now. Uh, yeah, because we, we can't get there. Although I suppose, can I get in the water here? No. That's kind of silly. You'd think you can get into in the water right there, but no. I could attack Londinium and take it right away. Trade Depot, Meeting Hall, Weaponsmith. Looks like some of this stuff is like my thing. It's because of Celtic paganism, which is like similar, I think. The Trade Depot, I think, is a building that we have. Let's have a look. Be one of these ones. Yeah, that's the Trade Depot. So that's what we have. And it, the town here is Hill Fort. Is that what we have? Ruined City. Yeah, Berg. No, it's not. This is the same picture though, so, but I'm guessing it doesn't count as the same thing. Yeah, they get Celtic units from that, so I'm guessing not, so we probably have to break that down. Then again, they're only just now fi making this, so I guess it was... No, it, could, it couldn't have been ruined. I don't know what's going on there. This is definitely our building though, that's our building, so I probably don't want to raise it, or uh, don't want to sack it. But do I want to go to war with the Picts right now anyway? That's the question. Uh, well, I should definitely do this because my other guy can't reach yet. So let's try and let's try and assassinate him, get him wounded. Critical success, nice. He's dead. Even better. Okay, that's eight units. What do we even get for reinforcements in Flavum? Damn it. Hmm. We only got six units and three ships. We got a sword here, a bond, and an axe here, a bond. Though, so that's good. Here, bond, whatever. Um. Oh my god, my income. I just realized that. It's going mental right now. Okay, so I think I'm just going to wait one more turn. 
I was gonna wait one turn anyway, wasn't I, for the replenishment? But I think I need to leave, leave this army in here. Actually, I know I wanted to move it into. No, they're all around here, so I don't have to put it in there. I think it's safer to put it in, or leave it in there. I want uh, two more turns for this army to be done. Um, I'm wondering if I should send one of the agents down to deal with this guy. I did stop him for this turn. He could probably reach next turn, couldn't he, when he's got full movement anyway. So yeah, we'll leave him here for now. Uh, and then the rest of the armies, yeah, you need to go into fortify. It's a pretty good place to fortify, by the way. <laughs> Just thought about that. Um, okay. Because, yeah, we know they had an army over here just now to pick, and that one's gone, so I don't know where it is. It might be over here somewhere. If I do go to war with the Picts, I'll probably join someone else again. They're at war with the Roman Empire as, as well. So if I join the Roman Empire, it doesn't mean I'm, I, I'm not calling my allies in, but... Anyway, um... Right, let's get some buildings done, I guess. How much... We've got plenty of happiness. Do I make this? Or do, wh wh why was I not making that? Sanitation, okay. I could upgrade these both. Actually, no, we had this still to upgrade, so we'll get that done first. And then we have everything up to level 3, except for this one. Which I only just got to level 2. So that makes sense. Um, oh, and Abuza is actually only level 2 as well. Oh yeah, we, yeah, we had that level 3, we broke it down because we had issues. And this is a lower level 2. Okay, and I guess I'll upgrade this. That can't hurt. Yeah, we need more squalor uh, fixing anyway, so it's fine. And that brings us down to 70 quid. Because that's what they used back in the day. I'll have you know. I'm sure you didn't know that, but yeah, they, they used quid. Um, anyone that I can trade with. I don't know why all of a sudden there would be someone I could trade with. Definitely isn't. Hold on. Oh, never mind. For a second there I thought I saw the Varinians hating me, but it was the Western Roman Empire. Um, Kuwaitians, you really like me. Greetings, friend. I've called for good ale to ease your throat and, ha, ah, ripe women to ease other parts. Oh, that's some non-aggression. How oh, just, just non-aggression? No? Well, I'm not gonna pay you for it if that's what you think. Look at you, you're number 47. You're probably like one of the lowest on the absolute list. Let's see, out of all the people I know, you are second from lowest. Apparently Egypt's like, basically dead. But I'm like, up there, so it's all good. It's all good. Whoa, Picts are number 5 actually. Okay, that's uh, slightly worrying. Yes, yeah, I know. I screwed up. I could have had a provincial governor. I fucked it. I darn fucked it. Okay, they're moving up. They're moving down. Alright, so there's three armies right there. I might attack them this turn. Oh crap, the stupid rebels though. Could I take three, well, one and a half stack with one of mine? Probably, but would I lose a lot of men? Most likely. Ooh, are they coming over to help out? I think they might be. Their army, it's like just over half a stack though so don't know what they're trying to do exactly but I hope they don't get themselves killed now that would be silly uh, I'm also probably gonna start moving the army from Tuli Furdum down and uh, just down here or down there just so I can start moving it this way and I'll like recruit those units while I'm there <sighs> I think uh, when we get to like 420, it's probably going to change the map again, where it's going to remain um, snowy for longer in certain areas. Like up there, it already did that. Like in during spring, it was still snowy, and you'd still take attrition. So I'm guessing that's probably going to like go down to around uh, north of France, maybe. Where in spring, you're going to still take attrition rebellion. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, she leveled up. That's good. Good for her. Alright, I didn't get the Pestilence in this army at least. That's good. So I can definitely reach them with both these armies, I think. Yeah. But the question is, will they run if I do that? These guys are set up in a uh, fortification. They have onagers as well. At least one. Possibly a second one right there. I think they had two in this... No, they had one in this one. Okay. Um. Anyway. Alright, let's get this done properly now. This province is Maxima Saconorum. Ok, 
Okay, next time I suck one worm. Oh, I don't want to do that. I just want to scroll down here. All right, there you go. That should have done it. Yep. Okay, now we can get a uh, edict. There we go. So give me. Do I need religious influence here? Probably. Fifty-two. No, that's not gonna make a difference. Let's just get some happiness from it. I need to upgrade that, by the way. Happiness. Yep. Let's do it. Um. Okay, so this is gonna reduce squalor again because right now it's fixed. But this is gonna reduce it again. That's gonna increase it again. So then it's gonna be, f or this is gonna increase squalor. This is gonna decrease it again. It's gonna increase sanitation. Okay. Um, sanitation's still an issue here. All oh, right, that's gonna get fixed with that. Yeah. And then that problem's gonna be fine for everything, including money as, or including food as well. Yeah, just barely, but yes. Although I think we're making the store, so that would fix it anyway. Um, right, what else have we got to do? Food shortage in Belgica, whoa. That's something I haven't been thinking about. Okay, that's gonna fix it, but I still need to probably make some other things as well. This will increase squalor, which we cannot deal with there, nor can we deal with it there. If I'm make this higher, then we can deal with both of them, I think, because they increase it by uh, two from what they are right now. So yeah, if we increase that, then we can also increase that and that one as well, because this spreads it to everything, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to cancel making these three, four units. And then I'm going to send you down here. Or down here, what's the fastest way to around here? Oh yeah, food there, but that doesn't help me. Yeah, it looks like it's down through here. Colonia Agrippa. Okay. So three more two more three more calf and then them. There you go. Okay. Did we just spend a whole lot less money making those units? Because my income I was nearly broke, wasn't I, when I just I don't know. Um no, I don't care. Pessimism. And you miss... You're like so high, such high level, it's crazy. You're gonna get that. Who was that? Attribution? Betray? Ooh. It's not bad. Okay, rank gained. Who else? Just them two. Okay. Right, so we need to deal with this. If I attack them with one army, obviously they'll just fight me. But they have a lot of cavalry, like... this. Eight cav units in there, two in there, and five and six in there. So that's sixteen cav versus my six. Now mine are obviously a lot better, but they're the skirmisher. They just wreck me. So I need to get both armies in there. But if I do that, they'll probably run. I need to also keep going against this guy. Sadly, at least I keep succeeding. I finally leveled up again. I need to be able to assassinate with this guy. I'm just gonna have to go for that for now. Um, this army is not going anywhere yet. Because I need to wait for the second or this army to arrive so I can go with. I mean, I could send it now, but again, then we just have issues here. Well, whatever the case, I'm gonna get rid of the rebels. Well, that doesn't mean it's gonna rebel again soon. I could also just leave it, let them come. They're not going to be able to reach Dorcatorum, so next turn it should be even closer, and I could probably jump in there with two armies and reach maybe even a third one, depending on how far they come. Maybe even a fourth one. Maybe even a fifth one. How awesome would that be? Five armies versus his, like, two total. So, yeah, I think that... We'll, we'll wait one more turn. Okay, you can continue doing on that. Uh, ooh, another agent here. Level one. Key... Oh, manipulating doesn't really do anything. Get rid of him. Nice. There's that army, okay. At least I know where it is again. That's good. Caledonians, two units. Nothing to worry about. What do you wish of me? Made a bunch of units. Already did that rank up. 
Okay, so I got 1,400 bucks left. That's not going to do anything for me. Ooh, they might go for the Rebels. If they fix... If they get rid of the Rebels for me, that'd be great. But I'm reckoning when they attack the Rebels, they'll just run. So I don't think that's going to work, but... Who knows? Um... Hey, how about some Welcome, trade, Italia? But expect I would make so much money off of them. My income went down again. It was 14 grand. I mean, we made units, but it went down, like, by... 2.7k or something. Okay. No, don't move that way. What's wrong with you? What are they gonna do? I can't... Well, actually, no. I should be alright now to move out towards Britain. Because uh, I'm gonna have... Is he gonna... Yeah, he is. But you won't be able to reach them again, though. Well, right, you'll reach them next turn, though. He's helping. Oh, no, he's moving away. Well, in that case, you were actually kind of annoying, because now I have to go chase them twice, which I don't want to do. Um, but yeah, since this army over here should be able to go into Agrosa Devorum, if I have to triple speed, or um, double time, or whatever you call it, force march them in there, that's fine. And then the army from here can go that way, and we can go into Britain next turn. I mean, I could do it this turn, but I think I'm alright. Because I need to... I think I want to take care of that Pict's army before I take their towns. I don't know. Maybe, well, yeah, probably. Because otherwise you could just take a boat and go over towards my mainlands. And, like, we've got the front line really good... Or really, really well protected. But they could all just go over here and make a right mess. Not something I really thought about. But then again, once we've taken care of these four Abda um, yeah, Abdanian armies... Then we should be fine. Hopefully we'll get a few more fights again soon, though, because we haven't had a fight for, for quite a while, I believe. That's really this game. You just don't fight very much compared to Shogun 2, for example. Infant mortality. No! An 11-year-old. That is just sad. Alright, another army done. We're down to 10 grand nearly income. Erica. How can I oh, yeah, enemy, enemy agents, right? Enemy agents, I guess. Lonikos. Over there, apparently. Oh, they just made a new one again. Well, at least I'm getting free experience, but I still need to succeed here. 75% chance. Alright, wounded him. Yes. Not sure if I want to do anything against this guy, probably. 63. I bet you I'm going to fail now. He's not an enemy, so currently I don't have to do anything. But then again, we're an enemy of his mate, so... Let's try it anyway. Success. Sorry, he's wounded. Level up. That's good. That's level 10 now. Yeah, jeez. Insane. We're going to still finish things off, so we'll finish those two off. Yeah. Um. Okay, this army is now... Okay, it can just go into there. So this one, I'm going to move just over there as far as possible. You're going to go into Augusta Tavorum. Set up a watch. The um, the more cavalry is actually not great for defending, and both of these armies have that. This one doesn't, though. Maybe I should send. Nah, for the sieging, it's not great. Eh, uh, fuck it. It's for the field battles that it's best at, having more cav. So, I kind of want to send, like, two more cav of one of these guys, but it's too late now. Any, any free exp or six, seven experience yet? No, nowhere. Pretty close, so probably. Um, all right, you ranked up. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that. No, we're going to go for that and that, and then next turn we're going to go for that. What else? Rank gain for this guy. I already did that. Units recruited. Age activity. Okay, term of office. I saw Alfwin in there. All right, he's my uh, guy over here. There you go. Uh, you're a governor, so you can be a judge. You, Claudio, you can be an elder. Um, is everyone else still in there? I guess tomorrow my new general isn't. Catualda, you're not. Werenbert, you are already in there. I mean, God, Fudimer's got nothing left. He'll get more soon, though, once we start fighting over there. This guy's losing integrity. 
we'll start gaining next turn, I think. When we um, go into resting mode. Right, you need to go against this guy again. I was going to say, he's going to he's gonna fill one of these times. Probably should have just round at some point, but I, I need that information on the armies there. Um, so yeah, they're all set up in defensive positions. There's no way I can fight that off at, well on the field battle in, with one army. I have to just wait until they come near me. In the meantime, we're going to start taking their provinces over here. Ooh, there's an army right there. Oh, that's a navy. You've got an actual navy with his uh, faction leader right there. In the westing. Okay, let's see. All oh, right, I want to upgrade this to um, I had a plan for this. I darn sure had a plan. It wasn't going to be that one though, was it? Because we have no immigration issues here. Uh, no, immigrants, one, we have 1% 1 immigrants, yeah, that's not worth making a tavern for. It does give the most stuff anyway, though. We're not going to make this tree, because we're going to only go down to the Warlord's Keep anyway, and we're going to have that one right here. Um, so it's going to be either the Great Hall or the Tavern. This gives a lot of happiness and culture. This gives... Not any ha well, slight happiness gives some culture bonus or a culture money, and it gives a 10% uh, research rate bonus, which is pretty good. Takes the same amount of food. This gives another free squalor. I don't think we can handle the squalor. No, well, that seals it then. Great haul it is. Ah, that, that, that culture money though, but this is not a money making place. So we're gonna go for the great haul. Doesn't look noble Germanic swordsmen, but I'm pretty sure I already have them from this. Yeah. Um, I still want to upgrade these twice. Can't do it twice. Upgrade that. That gives me... Oh, it doesn't actually take any squalor. It does take some food, though, which I don't have here. So, never mind. Uh, over here. This is always a good upgrade. More food. Sure, let's go for that. And then I guess I'll get one of these as well. Okay, next turn we're going to go into Britain. We actually can't reach Camelodunum next turn either right way. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the plan is going to be. We still need to deal with this as well. I mean, I could attack them with them. No, I can't. I'll just move these guys in there. I could attack them with them twice, but then I risk them reaching Fizancio without me being able to get back. And into fortified mode, which I guess I don't have to be in fortified mode, but anyway. All right, who's the kid that died? It's going to be one of these kids, isn't it? Yeah. It's a shame. I have a daughter. Maybe I should marry one of these generals. You're 44. It's a bit old. She's only 21. Let's get someone who's actually... Oh, um, just... Just a Marno. He's 28 already. I mean, he's alright. He's got some potential. He's actually pretty good for what he is. He's intelligent. Oh, he's already got a wife. Well, never mind that. Um, Bivin, you're horrible. You already have a wife. Oh, yeah, that's why you're horrible. Uh, Sigamund, you're 35. You've got a wife already. A brick Giesel. He doesn't have a wife, but he is 29. That's not that bad. He's a governor. He's a governor, and I'm. Yeah, it's pretty bad. He's cunning. Next level up. He's stupid. Um, I don't even know if you can marry like people like that. Like I know I can adopt him, but then he'll just be like one of his sons. So I don't know how that works. I can't, like, do anything, like, seek why. No, that's different. Um, arrange marriage. Seek to marry an eligible non-family member of your choosing. Yeah, okay, so when, he, when she's got 30 influence, I could try and do that. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. Although, someone might ask for her and a marriage before then. We'll see. Anyway. Um, oh, man, these guys can move for fucking days. It's just a normal stance, okay? All right. Enter. Let's see what happens. I mean, we've got decent happiness here, but I don't really want to leave these guys up for much longer. Okay, they're moving back again, but they're only moving slightly. Four half stacks right there. Oh, when he got rid of my agent right there, because he's already gone. I didn't even see him do it. That's how fast it went. 
no, 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 no. Were well, you sitting in fortify mode? All right, I trust you. We've been military allies for a long time, Langobards. You never did anything good for me. Well, you just tried to help out. I mean, that's something. You got tried to get rid of my rebels. You went, you went a long way to try and get rid of my rebels. You marched for a few seasons and then they ran away from you, which is very sad. But you tried to help, and I appreciate that. Then again, I've also seen people that don't give a flying fuck about you do the same thing. They just come into your own territory, get rid of rebels, and then they leave again. I, that that happened in Rome too, as well. It's just because everyone really, really hates rebels, I guess. <laughs> they just they will travel the world to get rid of some rebels in someone else's territory. These fucking rebels. Why doesn't he just go by land? He'd be way faster than going all the way around there. It's a good thing he's right there though, because that Abdanian navy looked like he may have been coming up here again. And he would get his turn after the Abdanians would, although I'm not even sure if the Abdanians can reach Flavum in one turn. They only move like a small bit, which me makes me think that they only they only move like partially. Like a, only a part of their um, movement speed. Or movement potential. Hostile agent. Okay, you wounded my guy. Office secured. Good. Alfwin, Belgica food. Okay, that, that I think that food shortage that that's what reduces my income by so much. Let me just change to Greek Christian from Greco Greco Roman paganism. All right, Alfwin, you don't really need anything in particular, so I'm gonna give you some food. Okay. Agents exposed. God, so many buildings. That must have increased my income a little, a little, by a little bit as well. Okay, so they're all over here again. That one isn't in. <laughs> I like how it's like a train. <laughs> choo choo! Let's go, let's go! I even heard like a train over there. Well, it sounded like one anyway. Um, oh crap, I was going to help out with this guy, wasn't I? I completely forgot about that. I actually want this guy. 12% chance to make him join me. Although, do I have an extra 20% on him? Oh. No. How about... No, he won't be able to reach, would he? Oh, I don't even have one in there. This guy can't reach, yeah. I'll try, I can try it anyway. Um, but then I, I put him out there. He can get wrecked by him. We don't want that either. I do need to get rid of this army soon, though. I really do. If I attack them, I'm just wondering where they're going to go. Because if this becomes a full stack, we're going to have an issue. Um, I should also see where my enemies over here are. The Alamans are like really far away. So technically, we don't need an army in Abuzas anymore. Because this is all friendly territory and this is desolate. So I think the army in Abuzas doesn't have to be there. Except it's probably going to be unhappy if I move it. Uh, yeah, minus five. So that's not good. This problem is really just, I don't know. It's not only minus two from immigrants, slightly religious difference. It says characters. It doesn't have a, a guy sitting in there, and that, that definitely makes a difference. But um, Oh, yes, and uh, sanitation is here fixed now. Let's see, exactly. So I can't, I can't upgrade that because it's going to ruin it again. Mm, right, I'm just going to attack them here. No, it's not. It really isn't. You should do it anyway. Oh, they're actually fighting. Oh, God. Ach, mein Gott. Okay, I might fight this one. They haven't had a fight for a while. They have a lot of cavalry. I have more. They do have a... Oh, that's a large onager. Holy hell. Well, yeah, the battle was not very much in my favor, so I'm definitely not going to resolve that. I wonder what makes them... What makes the meter so much in their favor. Oh, what is that experience? That's stupid. The AI is recruiting rebel armies with more experience than me in my own territories. That is just uncanny. He's got a lot of cavalry. He's only got one spear unit, it looks like. So, oh, and he does have one cataphracti. So we need to be careful of him. 
Oh, and his general is a cavalry unit as well. <clears throat> as well. Yeah, that is stupid. That amount of experience. Because I, I guess maybe for him the experience thing isn't bugged. I think experience playing a big part in the uh, out of his off here. His large onager is one thing I am scared of. Because that thing will tear a massive hole in my... Behind. Anyway, uh, rain. Maybe. I guess if, if he's trying to use... Like if he's gonna do fire stuff with his on a journey, we're not gonna be have we're not gonna have much to shoot at anyway. So, um, yeah, all right, I'll take rain. He has rain advantage, or um, he has uh, what do you call it? Advantage, range advantage, technically. A lot of forest. I'm gonna try and, and approach him through the forest. If I, I'd be cool if I could just get up on this this hill right here, but he's gonna be set up right there, isn't he? Um, oh, this actually set up in a pretty interesting formation right away. My cavalry right there on the left, cavalry, or cavalry on the right, left and the right. Um, so the axe is a little bit oddly, and my general on the right for whatever reason over there. And also, my line is like really spread out. Don't want that, obviously. I actually want it a little bit smaller. He's only got a few units anyway, so let's actually keep it, keep it thin. I might even want to put them in loose spacing while we uh, move over there, but I think I'll, I'll be all right. I might try and just lure out his um, his shots with one of the calves or something. Uh, actually, let's put you up here, so I don't have to move too far. Because yeah, right now I have no idea where they are. I guess I'll still go for flaming rounds. Yeah, I would assume so. I'm probably just going to leave my onager. I don't want to lose it, really. And that's more of a concern in this one, because they're a large onager. I should uh, try and flank around with some of the calf. See if I can find them, at least. That forest, kinda, it's, it's going to work in our favor in the end, but right now it's working in our disfavor, I guess. Oh, there's some calf right there. That probably means their line is around here. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. I was worried there for a second because I thought they were firing at me. But no. Although that probably just gave away my position. I assume flaming boulders would make them know where you are. What the hell was that? Oh my god. I don't want you to run though. I'm just gonna walk up all the way over here, I think. Oh crap. Okay, never mind for a moment. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna hit something here. We can't see it anymore, but. Uh, Cav. Oh, you're actually set up basically where I want you. Oh, I'm missing one. Did I? Oh, I just. Okay. Apparently, I never brought him over here. The enemy approaches! Oh, they're all. Oh, that's why. They're set up and they were. Okay, well, in that case, well, it's too late now. Yeah. They were set up differently, like the units weren't in the in the position I thought they were. This is a really awkward position, actually, to be in. I kind of want to just run over there. Oh, if he's gonna go for these guys, no, he's not. You get, have you hit anything yet? I don't think so. Oh yeah, yeah. Never mind. Sorry. He doesn't have any. Oh no, wait. That's the wrong unit. No, nope. Oh, still, he doesn't have any kills yet. I'm pretty sure he hit that unit because I'm pretty sure they had all their units completely full. Oh, there's his onager right there. Is he firing? Is that why we're seeing stuff? Yes. The enemy is attacking our general. I don't think they are. Uh, if that's the case, how about you go for them? The two of you. You go chase them. And this one's in position now. Right, go over here. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose too many men. Okay, General, get up there. 
Oh my god, whoa, what the fuck? Dude, yeah, we just got shot there with by an onager, I guess. Holy shit, that, that's insane how much money you lose from that. Okay, let's see if we can get a uh, little charge in there. Oh, he has these things as well. Oh my god, I hate this. Why? Okay, you go for that one. You go for that one. I guess because he got hidden at some point. Okay, let's just go... Right there. Okay, looks like we're engaged. Uh, must have done a bunch of damage there. Where's that third unit? There you are. Get over here. Okay, I actually want to leave these guys out a little bit for now. Oh my god. Oh, please. I need to not get stuck in this battle here. I don't want to start be stuck against that unit, but I also don't want to leave this unit to do whatever it wants to do. Okay, you guys did work. Oh, actually, one of you, uh, one of the rear, go this way. Okay, are we over here yet? We are. Okay, just kill them real quick. Please, listen to me. Kill these guys. Just ignore that unit that's coming behind you. You guys counter charge them. And you guys too. Okay. Yeah, their cav I don't like. Got a quick charge in here. We can break that unit real quick, that'd be good. You guys can try and help out too. General got back there. Okay, he's just fine. Okay, you broke them. I won't get on that anymore. Let's get on those co mace. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Damn those rallying units. How dare they? Okay, we got this now. We haven't lost, lost too much. Some of our calves are a little uh, beaten up, but... Get in there. Enemy general's dead. Yeah, just get out of here. Our victory grows ever nearer. God, that unit is pretty good. Co mace. I think those are all co mace, though. I don't think they're necessarily that good. We're just fighting uphill right there. Give you a charge in the rear right there. Sadly, they didn't run, so I actually have to either kill all of them or chase them. At least the general's dead. We know that much. Okay, you stop fight. Oh, you're out of ammo. Never mind. Um. Cavalry. Yeah, you need to keep going out and helping there. Right, yes, you. Actually, no, not the general. Those are probably... No, they might still be alive. You guys, get over there. Twelve. Eh. Actually, no. Well, probably should charge them. I don't think we're going to get many kills here. How are we not killing this unit anymore? I guess we're not charging. Like, these units are really just horrible in, in sustained combat. Yeah, eleven melee damage. Never mind. I don't know why I hadn't realized that. Okay, you go chase them. Oh, that's their uh, catafractari. I'm gonna charge it from two sides. Come on. Give it some more deaths. Some more kills. Yeah, they're not all gonna die. Unless I get the chasing a little better. That 12 men, they're probably alive still. Actually, I don't know. I heard someone say it's 10% of a unit needs to survive. I think they probably have some cav units that are still going somewhere as well, though. Alright, we finally won. Oh, yes. Okay, they're all dead. I killed a lot. But I don't know if it's enough. That shot, though, these guys lost more than half their unit from just one shot. That was insane. Absolutely mental. You guys are useless. What are you doing? 
32, they're definitely surviving if we don't kill them. 10, they might... Yeah, they'll probably survive. It's, if it's 10%, they'll survive, and there's no way I can reach them anymore. Let's just triple speed it for a while anyway. You, get over here and I'll pot. Should have a camp... Yeah, there you go. You guys, just get out of the way. Well, I mean, we kill as much as possible, at least. I suppose if they're still alive, then that, that's not too bad either. Because then they've only got a few units, and then my happiness is still going to keep going up. Three men, yeah, they're dead. I think that's the only unit left, so... Let's watch it end. Instead of pressing that end button right there. Alright. Well, at least we had a battle again. I don't know, there's numbers. I don't see anything that has a lot of men left, except for that one, maybe. If it survives, it, it's kind of a bummer. I'd rather it doesn't, but it wouldn't be in the end of the world. That was tough, though, because they had a lot of really good or strong. Actually, they had two kinds of melee cav. I didn't realize. Maybe those were like two good ones and two mad ones. Okay, they're dead, so that's fine. Get some replenishment going. Because we may not have to fight this particular turn, but I want to. I hope I can reach him back into Augusta Devorum. No. No, I definitely can't. They definitely can't reach it either, though. I could put these guys in reinforcement range of the town, at least. Uh, I don't think I have 25% left, no. Let's just do that. That's something. Oh. Alright. First upgrade for this guy. Let's get... Uh, I don't know why I'm... St actually, yeah, no, that's still good. Just gonna say, I don't know why I'm still going for this since we now know that the authority doesn't actually matter when, because it's only for governed provinces. But we still want the fatigue rate reducement reduction. What do you wish of me? This place is now two happiness, and that's with no armies in there. Okay, that's good. Looks like it'll be fine. Right, and this was also the term we were gonna go in. Uh, at, well, we we're gonna go into Britain anyway. I don't think we can reach anything. I mean, we can reach Londinium. Uh, and this navy, yeah, I don't know. They can definitely reach Flavum in one turn, so if they want to attack, they'll have to deal with this army as well. Unless they're going up there, but they don't really... I mean, all these places probably have more defenses than Flavum. Or similar, anyway. Um, yeah, we did that. Okay, no new traits or anything. Let's spend my money, and then we'll move on. Uh... Right, sorry, yeah, I'm just, I was just having a, a little thought. Um, yeah, I didn't want to waste any food there. I'm not going to get that yet. Oh yeah, I was going to get this at some point. May as well get it now. Um, I want to upgrade this, but I don't think we can handle Squalor. Actually, we can. Yep. May as well get that then. And that leaves me with not enough money to do anything. Okay, so are we going to get Londinium now? The pigs still have an army over there. Actually, I can move you and see. I guess I only move to move slightly if no, if it's still there anyway. Well, in that case, give me some. Oh, hold on. Do you still have movement? Yes. Well, in that case, give me movement. Okay. No picked armies around here. Give me some information further up. No. Hmm. That is interesting. Right. Picts. I think they have a they have an alliance with the Caledonians, don't they? Yeah, defensive alliance. So if I were to attack the Picts, then the Caledonians would join, which is not a massive deal. They only have that, but I don't know. They may have an army somewhere, so I'd better not declare war on them just yet. So, Picts, 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 Picts. You're at war with the uh, yep, the Western and Eastern Roman Empire. Well, we're not at war with the Eastern, so we're gonna ask them for some money again. Uh, Eastern Roman Empire. Where are you at? There they are. Welcome, worthy oh, guest. Oh, hold on. Wow. You want to trade? Part, welcome. For my part, welcome also, and give me your wisdom. Hmm. Wondering if I can trade with them. Be a lot of money. You know my daughter. Actually, no, you can't. It's my daughter. Just get your filthy on top of her. Um, I'll pay you a bunch of money too. Oh, I don't have that much money anymore. Hmm. If I join your war against some more people, Caledonians. Oh, Assassin's Empire, I wonder if that would 
Oh, that, that doesn't even change it. I mean, that's, that's so many people because I joined Assassinates. Um, any other big ones out there? No. Well, in that case, never mind. Oh, sorry. There we go. No trade. I'm not going to pay you for that. You pay me. You pay me now, yes? Oh, demand. They're not going to do that, though. Oh, maybe. Ooh. No, they're not going to pay that much, though, are they? Maybe actually the picks are like super strong. They're like number five, so maybe they will pay more. They'll probably pay me more than like the thousand or whatever they paid for, or like thirteen hundred. They paid for um for my war against the uh, Abdanians. So trying to five hundred. Hmm. Maybe not as much as I thought. Let's try two grand. Come on. This is valuable right here. There you go. And now I could ask them for more... Uh, now I have, I have more money to ask them for that trade. <laughs> uh, okay, well, since we're at war with them, it's going to take Londinium. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it with you. It's funny. They have the same exact movement range. Actually, no, slightly further here. Even though he's, like, only over here. It's funny. It's because we can't get past the city. Still want to pull in my uh, my guy though, but I want to get because he's got zero um, influence right now. I don't know why he doesn't doesn't he get like influence over or per turn? Does it say here? No, it doesn't. I mean, he gets some from his wife plus two. He gets some from being in here. Oh, that's that's a uh, per influence earning situation. I don't know. Regardless, you get in there. Actually, if I move him around this way. I can take Carinium next turn. Let's do that. Getting on our way. Your next command? My next command, you hovels. ask? Laying siege to our hovels. Our stupid hovels. How dare you have hovels, mate? Uh, let's go defensive. On oh, actually, no, they have. Today. This is their town. Did they get? Yeah, they do get Augers, so in that case. Attack! Just got balanced or something. I still don't quite know what to choose. I just sort of go with whatever feels right every fight. Alright. Um, so they have partially our buildings and partially not. Actually, no, I need to keep the peace, so I'm just going to go for regular Occupy. I need to keep happiness. Because I want to move through Britain as fast as I can. So I'm not too far away. From my own lands for too long, anyway. Oh wow, the punch one here is mental. Okay, so weaponsmith, that is our toolmaker. Oh no, that's okay. That's yeah. Well, that's it's not our building, but yes, it's the building that we want. Uh, minus five squalor. Okay, that's gonna get fixed a little bit by fixing the buildings. It's gonna reduce by one. Fixing that is gonna actually reduce it by one as well. Okay, we just need something that reduces squalor here. There's no question about that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be on minus three, which means I just have to get rid of some stuff. That doesn't fix it. Is that even our? Definitely not doing that. That it is our city. Okay. So I'll just fix that. Um, this I want to keep and change it into my iron production, but that, the, the squalor only goes down by one. I'll repair it right away so I can fix it next time. Um, trade Depot. I think I might just get rid of this. I don't think I want this here. I mean, it's pretty good. A lot of money and food. And it does get food. Maybe I should get rid of this one. Yeah, that's probably smarter. Because this is like a lower level. So I may as well keep this at this level. Although it does give squalor and stuff. It's not the best one necessarily. But it's the only one we can make. So, I mean, except if I wanted to go for one of these three things. But then I'd have to get rid of it all the way. Yeah, fuck it. Just fix that and get rid of this one. Um, yeah, dismantle that twice. So we have to deal with this for a little bit. At least, at least in here they've got their sanitation sorted. Because they've got this, which is Celtic Paganism. Although I'm assuming I could probably just convert that to one of my things. Uh, I also know I'm out of time. 
I'm gonna building the same one here. Oh, it's a sacred wall, actually. Whatever. Um, let's uh, end it, I think. I don't think there's anything else we can do except maybe some things here. Dip flask. Meh. Iron resource. Our income is still mental, and that's with five armies. I should probably build a sixth army, to be honest, at this point. But I don't have any spare generals, except for some new guys in here. Champion Rider, no, he's 34, 24, that's really good. Overseer, he's a governor, he's pretty good, 25. Yeah, I'll probably get him, but not right now. I'll do it in a few turns, I think. I'll start making another army, just to protect another place here. And then I've got basically these four places all protect. That's my entire front line, and I can always pull one back if need be as well. So then we'll be super safe. And I could, if I wanted to, I could also pull one back this way. But I don't think we really need three armies for that. Unless we come up against a lot of armies at the same time, but I don't think I will. Because all the armies are over here. Speaking of which, he is going to attack me here. I could probably flee. But let's see what the battle meter is like. Eh, it's not that bad. I want onager, two onagers. Well, I will decide what I'll do next time. So for now, I'm going to end it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, I'm either going to run or fight. If I run, I'm pretty sure I can fight them next time with two armies at the same time. Because they're going to run as well, but I sh they're so close, I should be able to chase them. And I don't think they can follow me if I run. And even if they can, I should run into, from, into reinforcement range on one of these guys. So I'll probably run and then fight them, like, just uh, live to fight another day, basically. I'll see what the map is like, though. Have a quick look-see. If I happen to have, like, a massively giant hill, then this might not be an alright decision to fight it. Eh. So foresty, which is not necessarily bad, but anyway, we'll decide next time. So thank you guys for watching now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.